Who says that you can't edit like a pro while on the go? Adobe Rush is an all-in-one app that allows you to shoot, edit, and export your video all from the same mobile device. Gone are the days where you might have not known where to start or maybe you're feeling some editing shame when it came to your videos. In today's episode of Tech Teams with Core, I'm going to share with you three reasons why I recommend Adobe Rush to any and everyone, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting out. So the first thing is that it's beginner friendly. When I say that the everyday person can jump into the app and learn and understand the dynamics of it, it's very much true. This is an app that I recommend to a lot of people who are just beginning to edit and they're like, how can I learn at my own pace without having to make such an extensive investment right now? Cause I'm not ready for that, but I still wanna produce great content. And what I really love is that if you are looking to join in the Adobe ecosystem further down the line, when that time comes you'll already have an understanding as to how to use Premiere because you'll learn along the way how to use the workspace how to use the program and all that it has to offer so while they are not the same you still have that familiarity so in Adobe Rush you'll be able to understand how to use your timeline you'll learn how to import your footage import your music you'll also be able to trim your footage to crop your footage to do some color correction do speed ramp you'll also be able to to use the motion graphics for titles so we're thirds and screens and a lot more and it's so cool because you can record your voiceovers straight within the app or you can import them from your voice notes or your voice memos on your phone and one of my favorite features which is recently new is that epidemic sound partnered with adobe so now you can go into the essential sounds panel and you can get royalty free music right then and there to use in your videos so you don't necessarily have to have a music subscription outside of rush if you don't want to and you can just get your music and your sound effects right there so the second reason would be that you're able to edit from any device i love and when i say love i mean love how you're able to jump between different devices such as smartphones tablets and computers all for the same project and this is because all of your files are synced into the creative cloud that adobe has so i can start on my iphone and finish on my macbook which is convenient when you are on the go constantly or you're just pushing out a lot of content and sometimes you do need a bigger screen to like just look at the different layers that you have going on so that synchronization is a game changer I've edited some videos that I shot on the Sony a6400 and all I did was take this SD card adapter to import the footage straight into my phone and then go into rush and do what i need to do so that way if you're on a road trip for example and you shot some fire content you don't have to wait until you get to your final destination to plug in your computer and edit a project you can do it straight from your smartphone or your tablet in the car and then share it just like that and speaking of sharing, the great thing is that all the ratio aspects are already handled for you. So you don't have to sit here and remember the screen size or Google it. Just choose a platform or device you're going to be sharing it to and Adobe will take care of that for you. You may need to make some minor adjustments to just, you know, move something over because if it's to the left, I need to go to the right. Go ahead and make that change. And let's say you finish editing that video and you reach your final destination, but you want to add a little something more to it. What you can do is actually import your Adobe Rush project into Premiere and it will still be intact. You can go ahead and add whatever onto it. I've done it before and I remember the first time I realized I was like, okay, this, this is so cool because the work's already done for you. And if there's something like a GIF or this motion graphic that isn't compatible with Rush itself at the moment, you can finish it off and premiere and be on your merry way so the third reason is that pricing makes it affordable if you already have the entire adobe creative cloud subscription rush is included in that so you can go ahead and use it but if you don't and you're brand new you can try it for free and you get up to three exports you get access to like all the tools and features and you get two gigabytes of cloud storage now if you want to take it a step up but you don't want to get the entire subscription which is understandable you can get it as a single app for 9.99 a month and you get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage you get 
get unlimited exports you still get access to all of the features and you're able to sync it across your mobile and desktop devices it's definitely worth the investment i remember when i first started using adobe premiere in 2017 it was a night and day difference coming from final cut because at the time for me final cut in my opinion was more user friendly more inviting in terms of like the interface so when i opened up premiere and it was just black i looked around like okay then who who's gonna who's going to do this because this is just like i don't understand uh and that was before going on youtube to search for a tutorial and this would have been a great way to like i said earlier to segue later on into premiere learning just the basics so that's it for the three reasons why i recommend adobe rush to any and everyone if you want to see two videos i've already edited with it you can click the drop down menu and watch them there also if you'd like to see a tutorial step by step with me walking you through how to edit a video let me know in the comment section below and if you want that tutorial do you want it shot on my iphone or do you want to shot on my sony <laughs> you want to shot on my sony a6400 you know let your girl know how to at me i hope this was helpful you know especially if you are creating content on your phone there's no shame in the game and yes it's easy to say but there's no shame in the game you know i have to remind myself all the time to use what i have learn how to properly use what i have so i can get to where i want to go get to where i want to be and be able to buy what i want to buy you know this gear is ex expensive okay and you know don't let anybody shame you down because they might have the flyers but you're gonna be the nicest okay and that's on that so yeah if you are shooting on your phone let me know in the comments have you used adobe rush let me know in the comments you know we have a lot to talk about and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace Explain it, but it's everything I need At least for now I think that everything